with Salusa once again. I'm here with you. If you you can notice, the hair is gone temporarily, temporarily again. But um, I have with me a, a superstar of our community, which is State Representative Mac Bernard, soon to be Senator Mac Bernard. Mr. Mac Bernard, good evening, good morning, good afternoon, depending on when this is going to be aired, so everyone will be will be touched. How are you today? I'm doing great, Salusa. I am glad that you changed your hair. <laughs> <laughs> you, you never told me. You never told me that that you know you didn't like it the other way. That's no, I, I'm fine with it. But you know, um, you know, it's good to be here and to be live on TV and uh, wherever someone is watching. We're just happy that you know we get the opportunity for them to hear what we have to say. You know, there's going to be a lot of a lot of disappointed fans uh, watching uh, watching on HLN, not seeing my hair right now. To those of you who are disappointed, guess what? I'm sorry. State Representative Mac Bernard, soon to be Senator Mac Bernard, is happy with it. Uh, I hope you will you you will call your friends wherever they are, especially those who are right here in Palm Beach County, because we're about to make history uh, once more in in Palm Beach County with uh, State Representative Mike Bernard. He is soon to be Senator Mike Bernard. Uh, on August 14th, we have election. Uh, what does that mean for the Haitian community? Uh, number one. And number two, uh, let's go with the number one. What does that mean for the Haitian community? Well, first of all, in order for me to win the election, I need the Haitian community to support me and to go out and vote for me. So this is the opportunity for the Haitian community to uh, support someone that was born in Haiti, that was raised here in the United States, and for us to create the first Haitian senator in the history of the state of Florida. So this is an opportunity for all of the Haitians throughout Palm Beach County in this District 27 and throughout the state of Florida and throughout the United States because uh, this is making history for us to continue to represent our communities well. As our community continues to, to, to gain strength on the political uh, on the political scene, uh, I would know we have people that are watching in Miami, people that are watching in Boston, New York, New Jersey, all over. How can someone up in these areas help with the campaign? Can they help financially? Can they send you a check? Uh, can they uh, help you know uh, with with the internet? How can anyone help? Can they volunteer, come down here for about two weeks and volunteer with the campaign? Can they uh, call a friend? How can they help with the campaign? Well, first of all, uh, we have a website, www.macbernard.com, uh, that people who are watching all over the United States can go to our website. And in our website, it, it, it will introduce you to myself, and they, have, they would have the opportunity to donate. And if they want to volunteer, they can volunteer. Also on the website, they can sign up to follow us on Facebook. They can uh, follow us on Twitter. So this is the opportunity for everyone throughout the whole United States to help our campaign. We have a campaign headquarter in West Palm Beach. And we would love for anyone who, uh, if you have a couple of days that you can volunteer, uh, we need any help that we can to be able to win this race because it is that important for the community. Your district is District 27, which uh, constitute Lake Park, Rivera Beach, West Palm Beach, Palm, uh, Palm Spring, Lake Worth, uh, Lantana, and Boynton Beach. Now, approximately how many Haitian votes do we have within, within that area? Well, Salusa, from Lake Park all the way down to Boynton Beach, uh, we've analyzed it and we believe that there's over seven to 10,000 Haitian voters who are registered to vote, uh, who can vote on election day. And the election is not a November election like for the president's race, which is in November. The election is August 14th. So we want everyone, even though people are planning to send their kids back to school at that time, but this is the opportunity in Palm Beach County and in the state of Florida to create the first Haitian senator in the history of the state of Florida and so we would like to all of the Haitians that are in the district if you know someone that lives in Lake Park Lake Worth West Palm Beach Rivera Beach everywhere that they live whoever that they are if they can vote please tell them to go out and vote on August 14th I know it's summertime we have a lot of our of our youth that are in vacation if someone's looking uh, looking at this show right now in New York City at Boston 
or Mon Montreal or Buffalo or anywhere else, Atlanta, and they want to send their kids uh, to a family member, but to volunteer with the campaign, uh, can can they can they do that? For one, and what number can they call in order to get to get in touch with the campaign? Well, first of all, uh, right now we have over 30 kids who are. Uh, volunteering on the campaign on a daily basis we're calling people to tell them about Mac Bernard we're knocking on people's doors and we're doing everything in our campaign headquarters so anyone who can uh, send their kids to, to experience the opportunity uh, to elect someone to be part of that process of the political process and seeing the making of a Senate race, seeing the making of a senator, uh, this would be a great opportunity for everyone throughout the whole United States. And uh, we do have a campaign phone. Our phone number is there, code 561-797-6225, and that's 561-797-6225, where you can call the campaign headquarters, or you can visit our website, and you can have the opportunity to experience this opportunity that is creating a buzz, uh, creating an action, a movement in the Haitian community and throughout the whole Palm Beach County. Now, given that we have uh, any of our Haitian youth that are interested in politics, uh, is there a chance for them to uh, to to come on board and work and, and gain experience? Uh, one thing that I know of, of your office is that you have opened many doors. You've opened doors for for uh, two commissioners so far, and a future probably a future uh, state representative, and and many others that that who have come. Th through your through uh, uh, your door, asking for for uh, for support, asking for for ways. Uh, if if a, a young man or a young woman out there is interested in getting into politics in their community, wherever they are, whether it be New York, whether it be down here, whether it be uh, Atlanta or in or North Carolina, or better yet, better yet, Arkansas or um, Wichita, you know, uh, can they come here? at your office in uh, West Palm and gain the experience that they need to learn enough about politics so that they can move on and become a, a major politician and, and uh, gain, gain the strength for the Haitian community. Well, Salusa, as you can see, I'm getting really old now. You're saying that all the people that I've helped you know, I'm like only 36 years old, so, uh, but it is really important for everyone to participate in the political process, even if it's waving a sign, making a phone call, and to really get engaged in the community. And so anyone who would like to have that opportunity, they can call the office and they can visit us on the website. And we would love to have as many volunteers and as many people to come out and to experience the opportunity of being part of this movement because uh, this movement doesn't happen uh, that often. This is a once in a lifetime experience and we're really excited about being part of that movement and uh, to really have everyone throughout the whole United States see uh, what we're doing in Palm Beach County, what we're doing in, in the state of Florida, and what we're trying to do throughout the whole United States, uh, being an ambassador of the Haitian community. History is at the making, and you are watching this live on HLN, and we're about, I'm about to ask a question here that, that will probably uh, throw the buzz all, all around. Now, as a state representative, a young state representative, in uh, you know January 12 happened. What what did you do to help out with the process, and what did you do to ensure that everyone who's here who needed needed support uh, got the support that they needed? Well, Salusa, as a new, I was a new state representative, and it was like probably my first month really. Uh, being in Tallahassee and we got the news around 5.30 I got the news and immediately I contacted the governor which was Charlie Chris at that time and I communicated with the two other state uh, representatives that was Yoli Roberson in Miami and, and represent Ronald Brise and we communicated and I can tell you within 24 hours I was on a plane to Haiti to assess the situation uh, because a lot of the people who were stranded and who were coming to the United States were coming to Florida where we're communicating with the hospitals, uh, visiting Jackson hospitals, uh, seeing the different people who were infected and 
and uh, visiting them and making sure that the state of Florida was going to be an open arm for the people who were affected by the earthquake. And we, I was the first state representative to ask for us to have a czar to address the, uh, the whole United States on what we're going to do with Haiti and how we're going to proceed. And eventually the president appointed uh, former President Bill Clinton to be uh, the czar uh, for Haiti relief. So uh, for me as a young, I was a young representative and so I, I moved swiftly to make sure that the people who were affected by the earthquake were going to be taken care of in Haiti and also in the United States. What, what I'm hearing is that um, the Haitian interest is always in the palm of your hand. It's always right in front of you, and you're always paying attention to the Haitian interest. And as we speak uh, about the Haitian interest, the youth is always something that, 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 that concerns you. How, how they move forward, especially the youth here in, in Palm Beach County. And one of, uh, one of your plan uh, is, is to, to build an educational center, uh, a community center for, for, for the Haitian uh, community right here in Palm Beach County so that everyone could, could, um, could, could move forward. Could you uh, explain a little bit more? And another thing that you have done also is, is that you, you, you are very concerned about jobs within the community. How are you helping with, with the process? Well, in order for us to build the jobs that we need in the state of Florida in Palm Beach County, we need to have a high quality education. Our kids who are in the school system uh, need to be uh, taught properly. We need to continue to uh, fund our teachers to make sure that they can uh, uh, live a living wage because our teachers are not being paid enough. Uh, but at the same time, our kids who are growing up, we need to make sure that they continue to be challenged and uh, so they can have the jobs uh, for tomorrow. So one of the things that I've worked on is the reason why I want to build the community center is I want to give those kids who are just coming to the United States the opportunity uh, for them to, uh, to be able to go to a community center to learn how to read. And for the parents who, are, who don't know how to read, who want to make sure that their kids are doing well, that they can come to the community center. And also we want the opportunity to have events where people would understand their history and to understand uh, their culture and to always remember, uh, you know, the, the blood of Toussaint Louverture, you know, the blood of uh, this Aline. And so in that way, everyone knows the culture of Haiti, and that's really important for us. And w what I want to do is make sure that the kids who are, are growing up in Palm Beach County, and for them to not just see uh, a gang life as a way to go, but for them to see modeled Haitians who are not only becoming uh, attorneys, who are becoming city commissioners, who are becoming state uh, representative, but at the same time to be state senators, to be future governors in the state of Florida, to be future congressmen in the state of Florida, or congresswoman in the state of Florida, and eventually to be governor of the state of Florida, and possibly a president of the United States. If you just, uh, if you just tuning in with us, you're watching HLN, and this is Diaspora TV. My name is Salusa. This is Making It Happen with Salusa. My guest here is State Representative Mag Bernard, soon to be Senator Mag Bernard. Um, my, my very last question to you is, this center that we're talking about, actually it's, it's not the last question, the last question about the center, is this something that we're gonna be renting or something that you want to acquire land for us to have the very first Haitian center ever in the United States? Because there isn't one anywhere else that I know of. Well, I don't know what's around the whole United States, but I know what we need here in Palm Beach County. And we have, uh, we've, we've had the blood, the sweat, and the tears uh, throughout the Palm Beach County. So this is not something that's going to be rented. Uh, we've already owned it. This is something that we've already earned interest on it with all the work that we've done in the community and in Palm Beach County. So uh, we're going to build it, and we're going to make sure that the community in Palm Beach County is well represented for the people to have a place to go. The last question is about the election. August 14 is a very important day for Palm Beach County. It's a very important day for, for, for Haitians all throughout the United States because every time we elect a, 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 a Haitian individual, it gives us more leverage uh, for the Haitian interest to, to move forward. Um, it's not about August 14 only. Early voting. Uh, requests for, for, uh, for, for absentee ballots. Uh, how can uh, some, someone get uh, absentee ballots and how can they get help to, to, to go early voting if they don't, they, don't, they don't have transportation? Well, first of all, since this is probably the last question, we're at Peakley's and 
you know, I want to make sure that I let, let everybody know that Pickley's is in Delray Beach. I used to be city commissioner here, so it's always great to be home. And that's where I was raised. And France, who's the owner there, I know he was one of the first uh, people to give me a check for my campaign to tell me, hey, Mac, you know, good luck. And Pickley's is supporting you, and we're behind you. So I'm really excited to be here. And the election is August 14th. There's plenty of ways that anyone can uh, can vote. First of all, you can still register to vote. Uh, there's a deadline. I think it's July 16th is the last day to register to vote, to be able to vote for the August 14th election. And uh, people can vote by requesting an absentee ballot. When we knock on people's doors, we're telling them, they, hey, we you may not you may forget about the election, so please do an absentee ballot. The supervisor election will send the absentee ballots on the 10th of July, and we hope that we can get everyone who's requested an absentee ballot to fill it out and for them to vote for Mac Bernard. Also, we're going to have early voting, which begins on August 4th, and it runs through, I think, through the 11th of August. So what we hope is that if you cannot do the absentee ballot, and you can vote by early voting. You can go from the 4th through the 11th. There's 10 sites in Palm Beach County. We want everyone to go out and vote early. And if you cannot get to at that point, then we want to make sure that you vote on August 14th. But what we want is we want before Election Day for us to know that we've already received seven to 10,000 Haitian votes that I've already said that we want Mac Bernard to be the first Haitian senator in the history of the state of Florida. So in that way, everyone can see the movement. Everyone can see that the Haitian community is supporting and is behind us to be able to uh, create history in the state of Florida. You heard it here first. We are here inside of Pecles. This is Making It Happen with Salusa. My guess is future senator Mac Bernard on August 14th. Let's go out and vote, and let's vote Haitian on August 14th, and make sure that we have the very first uh, state Haitians in the state Senate out of Palm Beach County. Thank you very much for watching. It's a pleasure. Always a pleasure.